In early November 2025, Russia's Government Coordination Center released comprehensive progress reports on three major projects for the development of new regional passenger aircraft, the LMS-901 Baikal, the LMS-192 Osve, and the TVRS-44 Ladoga. These aircraft, engineered to replace antiquated fleets on regional and local routes, represent an important step toward technological self-sufficiency and the revitalization of Russia's domestic aviation sector. Each of these next-generation aircraft is being developed with domestically produced engines, marking a major milestone in the nation's import substitution strategy. For many decades, regional aviation throughout Russia has primarily depended on aging Soviet-era turboprop aircraft, including the An-2, N-24, and L-410. Many of these aircraft are nearing the end of their operational lifespan, while the procurement of spare parts and maintenance support has become progressively more challenging. Western sanctions imposed after 2014 and again in 2022 made it harder to get imported parts, pushing the government to replace foreign equipment with products made in Russia. In this context, the trio of new aircraft, Baikal, Ladoga, and Osve, function not only as transportation options but also as symbols of industrial revitalization. Their development forms part of a comprehensive state strategy aimed at restoring regional air connectivity, particularly for remote regions of Siberia, the Far East, and Northern Russia, where aviation continues to be the sole means of transportation available throughout the year. The LMS-901 Baikal is the most compact and technologically advanced among the three in terms of development readiness. Designed as a nine-seat light multi-purpose aircraft, it serves as a successor to the renowned An-2, a dependable workhorse that has linked remote Russian communities for more than 70 years. Following initial skepticism from critics and delays resulting from supply chain disruptions, the project has now progressed into an active certification phase. The Ural Civil Aviation Plant, known as UZGA, the project leader, has formally submitted an application for type certification of the Baikal aircraft, equipped with a completely domestically produced engine system. This includes the VK800SM turboprop engine and the AV901 propeller, both designed and built domestically. According to Andre Dorofiev, Director for Quality and Certification at UZGA, certification for the VK800SM engine and the AV901 propeller is expected in the first quarter of 2026. The aircraft's inaugural flight with this power plant configuration is scheduled to occur before the end of 2025, with the type certificate for the complete aircraft expected shortly thereafter. The VK800SM engine generates 877 horsepower, a figure designed to ensure maximum efficiency and reliability during operations on short runways and under adverse weather conditions, typical of regional roads. The aircraft's lightweight airframe, improved aerodynamics, and modern avionics contribute to reduced operational costs and increased safety compared to its Soviet predecessor. The TVRS-44 Ladoga represents the next stage in Russia's regional aviation modernization. Designed to carry up to 44 passengers, this twin-engine turboprop aims to replace the aging An-24 and Yak-40 aircraft that have long dominated regional routes across the country. The Ural Civil Aviation Plant has again taken the lead role, collaborating with multiple Russian enterprises, Construction of the first prototype is expected to be completed by the end of 2025, with the maiden flight scheduled for mid-2026. At the core of the Ladoga lies a variant of the proven TV7-117ST engine, specifically the TV7-117ST02, which has already been certified and tested on larger aircraft, including the IL-114-300, the new version is tailored to optimize power and fuel efficiency for medium-range regional missions. By November 2025, the type certification process for the aircraft was well underway. All issues from the mock-up commission had been resolved, 
the certification basis approved, and the program for testing submitted. The engine certification itself is expected in 2026, paving the way for flight trials. Beyond its technology, Ladoga represents a key strategic leap. The aircraft is expected to become the backbone of Russia's regional aviation fleet, operating routes from 500 to 1,500 kilometers, linking mid-sized cities and providing year-round access to remote areas. With twin engines, a pressurized cabin, and advanced avionics, it ensures comfort and safety comparable to Western aircraft, while remaining fully independent of imported parts. While Baikal and Ladoga are purely Russian projects, the LMS-192 OSVE is a joint effort within the Union State Framework, combining Russian design and Belarusian industrial participation. The OSVE is a 19-seat, twin-engine turboprop positioned between the smaller Baikal and larger Ladoga. Production will be shared with Belarusian companies, signaling a new era of industrial partnership between the two nations. Like the Baikal, the OSVE will use engines from the VK-800 family, specifically the VK-800 S1 model, delivering 877 horsepower at takeoff. A contingency power mode allows one engine to boost to 900 horsepower in case of failure of the other, improving safety and reliability for regional operations. Though the OSVE project began later, it is steadily advancing through key stages. As of November 2025, the manufacturer had applied for certification, completed the mock-up review, addressed feedback, and compiled required documentation. The current schedule targets a type certificate by 2029. Although distant, this reflects the deliberate pace needed to build new production processes and achieve certification under both Russian and Belarusian regulators. All three aircraft share a key trait. They use domestically produced engines, a critical step toward Russia's technological independence in aviation. The VK-800 series, designed by the Klimov Design Bureau and the Ural Engine Plant, powers both Baikal and OSVE. These engines were created for light and medium regional aircraft, balancing power, weight, and fuel efficiency. They replace imported Pratt & Whitney and General Electric turboprops previously used in similar roles. The TV-7-1 17ST family, used on Ladoga and the larger IL-114-300, represents the next generation of Russian turboprop technology. It provides between 2,000 and 3,000 horsepower and has already undergone extensive flight testing. Its derivative, the ST-02 version, reduces maintenance costs and boosts performance at high altitudes and in extreme weather, vital for flights across Russia's vast terrain. These domestic engines symbolize Russia's ongoing drive for self-reliance in aviation. Once certified and in serial production, they will eliminate one of the last major dependencies on Western suppliers in the regional aircraft segment. Developing civil aircraft is a slow, detail-oriented process. Each model, from design to testing, requires thousands of hours of ground and flight evaluations. The Baikal aims for certification by late 2026. The Ladoga moves toward prototype completion, with flight tests starting in 2026. The OSVI, still early in development, is laying the groundwork for long-term collaboration and production. Together, Baikal, Ladoga, and OSVI represent more than just technological progress. They embody Russia's strategic goal of rebuilding its regional aviation ecosystem. Once in service, these aircraft are expected to become essential links between small towns, industrial centers, and regional capitals, ensuring transport without reliance on foreign technology. This will boost local economies, improve access, and lessen dependence on roads or railways in regions with limited infrastructure. The projects will also secure employment and promote innovation across Russian plants such as UZGA, Klimov, and numerous suppliers working on avionics, airframes, and integration systems. In conclusion, as of late 2025, three distinct aircraft programs are advancing, each at its own pace, 
yet collectively contributing to Russia's regional aviation revival. The Baikal approaches its maiden flight with a homegrown engine. The Ladoga moves closer to prototype readiness. The OSVE builds the framework for international collaboration and certification ahead. In the coming years, these three aircraft, born from persistence, technical precision, and strategic intent, are set to reshape the skies over Russia's regions, proving that dedicated craftsmanship can once again secure the nation's respected place in global aviation. If you think the video was informative, please like, subscribe, and share. Please also take membership of the channel to encourage us